Hello everyone, and this is Josh on Tech once again with another Android app review. Now today I will be reviewing the Go Launcher home replacement for uh, Android here. It's free in the Android marketplace, and it comes along with a whole a whole ecosystem of different kinds of apps that are made specifically for Go Launcher, which is different from all launchers. Um, there's not as many apps that are specifically made for the launcher that are made by the launcher's developers. Like ADW has some apps that are optimized for it, but they're not made by ADW's developers. There's Go, there's a Go developer team, which brings you this calendar which is really nice. Gives you that iBooks page turning effects there if you can see. You can just flip up and switch to the day. And then it gives you this effect when you switch to the agenda view and to calendar. It kind of moves it and stuff, which is really nice. It's, it's just a really good launcher. And the best thing about this whole launcher is this. You just swipe up and there's all your home screens. It's as easy as that. To switch home screens, it's as easy as this. Hold down and switch. Switch them wherever you want, and then you can change, you can add here, as many as you want. You can have as many home screens as you want. There's no limit to these home screens. You can have 30 of them if you want. And you can just switch as simple as that. It's smooth, everything works. And actually just recently they redid the look of the app drawer. But it has a horizontal slide. You can switch it to vertical where you scroll up. But I like this because it's more organized. And it gives you that iOS kind of app folders as you, they call them. I call them app groups because it's really not a folder. But it just kind of is nice because it just drops them down. And if you have more than the amount that's able, like for this, it just scrolls them to the side here. Which is really nice. Then you have all tab up here. You have a recent tab, which is your history of what you've used. Then you have running, which are running programs. I just switch to all unless I need to go back to something. But it, you can organize them, and it's the same as like iOS. Not to copy them or anything, but it's just really nice to be able to do this. You can hold this down and switch it over here and make a folder simple as that and there's your folder you can drag that you can drag that out of the folder here and place it right there and then just drag this one out of the folder place it over here and just delete the folder as simple as that it's the most simple launcher you will ever find for app organization. And it's smooth too. When you just go across, it's just so smooth. It works perfectly. And of course you have these down here. Now, unlike ADW Launcher, you have to hold these down to change them. See? It'll give you the change shortcut, change choose icon, or change gesture response. That's the only way you can change those down there. But that really doesn't bother me. I don't change them a lot. So it just stays like that. And also another nice thing is this. It gives you a lot more options than ADW or Launcher Pro or any of them. You can go to more, you can get feedback, you can see your notifications, that brings down your notifications, you can share this um, launcher here, you can recommend it, you can get themes right from here, everything's right from here. The edit, all that it is is this, this thing, which is all you really need. Then you have preference for, preferences for the Go launcher, and then you have settings for Android. Let's go to preferences here. See, it shows you that you have new settings in here from the new version with these two little things. 
go to display settings here, you can get the status bar, you can get rid of that. Icon labels, you can change the grid size, that's new. They just added that recently. You can select wallpaper scrolling. You can make the screen scroll on. Just keep going and going and going. Always go to the left or right and it will just go in a circle basically. You can change the transition effect. I like the default one. You can do the filing speed which is when you change it goes faster. Change the home screens when you switch them. Elasticity which is the bouncing effect between the home screens. Screen indicator which is which screen you're on. You can do auto hide that which will, will hide it when it is done moving, when you're done moving to that. You have dark bar settings which you can change the icon style. You can change the background. You can do the rows and the loop mode. Loop mode is the same thing as home screen loop which it just keeps going. When you go all the way to your right, it will go back to the left, all the way to the left one. Then you have after settings which scrolling orientation, you can set it to vertical or horizontal. Horizontal is much better. You can do the icon effect, which is when you switch between the icons, you can have them do a transition effect, sort of like your home screens. You can blur the desktop wallpaper when you open up your app drawer. You can change the grid size, just like all of them. I have mine set to 4x5, which gives you more apps on the screen at once. You can have the icon labels show up. You can hide app icons. You can icon sorting. You can uh, change it from alphabetical to latest installed, earliest installed. And then exit. Enter and exit transition. I set that to default. You can do zoom, random, windmill, all that kind of stuff. Show locked apps and choose locked apps. Then you have operation settings, screen rotation. Which means when you change to the side, it will switch to landscape mode. Then you have quick menu, which is your menu right there. Just comes up like that. Then you have your home key action, which is this. You can change that to pretty much every anything you want. Then you can get a glide up action, which I show previews, which is that, which is really nice. Then you have glide down action, which I have show notification. So that is that. And wherever you are on the screen, if you're at the bottom, it will drag down your notification bar for you. Then you have advanced settings, which I don't tweak at all because it does change the way it works. You get high, high quality drawing. It'll um, make your transitions between screens more fluent. Look better. They, look, they will look better. System persistent. It won't force close the app. Force close the launcher per se. Prevent force close, which is basically the same thing, but this will actually set it so that it can't force close on it. Then, um, screen ru clean rubbish data, which means like the cakes and all that stuff that come with the launcher. It'll clean that all up for you. Um, you can get your font, you can change your font. I have mine to a different font, italics. It's really, it looks really clean. Then you can get the, the um, unread count <clears throat> for text messages, calls, Gmail, and Kate. K9 mail count. You can do that all, which is really nice. And then it's see it's so simple. There's not that many options here, which is really nice that they have it so organized. And then you have about the launcher. You can back up. You can restore. You can reset the default, and you can exit. But basically, this is my everyday launcher that I use. It gives you this. You, you, they make this uh, clock widget here, which is really nice. <clears throat> also like to show you the weather that comes with it. This is their Go Weather application. It's kind of like two app reviews in one if you say so. It's really nice here. It gives you all your local forecast here for the next week. You can get more information there. 
switch to less information. You can actually have more than one. I just have my town. And as you can see, there's little animations in the back. You can see the uh, little clouds moving. The app that comes with it. And there's a bunch more. Just type just type in uh, Go Developer Team on the app Android uh, Marketplace, and you'll find all these apps. It's it's wonderful. I love um, Go Launcher. Anyway, this was uh, Josh on Tech, and I will see you in my next video. Subscribe to my channel, and check out JoyTrip.net, where I post my videos as well. I will see you in my next video. Talk to you later. Goodbye.